Right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling is takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. All right, now let's get you the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with some differences in height, but the same reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buck. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 143 pounds. Fighting out of Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, Boom Boom. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, commit the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. Underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Kick landed by the jump. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, just missed on the overhand left. That might have done some damage. He gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Oh, left hook to the head. It's blocked. Right hand upstairs. His hands are down. 
Circling away towards the left now. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Big punch lands through the middle. Just missing on the high kick there. Look at him flip his hip into that kick. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Just over three minutes now to go. Real sneaky body kick. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your pull by slowing it down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Land. Telegraph that spinning back fist. It's such a fast leg kick. Slips the punch. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he is taking. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's going to put him to sleep. Going for the body, missed with that kick. Ooh, big shot land. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Secure that take out. He loaded up there on that high kick. Just misses with that one. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. 20 seconds to go. There's no tell on that leg kick. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. All right, let us now get to some replays from that previous round. Big part of the narrative, of course, those devastating kicks to the body. Yeah, he's in the right stance to throw that kick to the body. And you see now his opponent starting to carry his hands really low. Look for him to go over the top. Now that he's got, us, he's got him set up the way he wants it. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Big leg kick land. Nice kick there by Lee. Well, 
Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Trying to establish that jab once again. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Ooh, and he caught the kick. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going now. Rips the body there for good measure. Blocks that strike. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Get him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Lee going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. <laughs> Three minutes to go in round two. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Throws the right hand there. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Head kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh man, head kick lands. Kick now by Lee. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big leg kick land. Back and forth we go. Just unable to quite find that range. Nice one, two there. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Lee. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Spinning back fist. Thirty seconds to go in the round. Straight punch lands. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Slips the punch nicely there. He is throwing a fast, straight hard jab. That's not a feel jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Look at the whip action that comes through. Right from the all right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. He was all over you, but you're better than that. Come on now, let's shake it out. Let's get back in there, let's get... All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and 
At some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Kick to the body, that one blocked by the defense. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll, start, he'll change his stance. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, nice. Flip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. He blocks the punch. with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Way to hide that leg kick. Three minutes to go in round three. Lost the strike. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. A warning. Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fights. How's his opponent still standing? I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. And they separate. Oh! oh a little single collar tie there. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Big body kick. Seconds now remain in the round. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, and he caught the kick. Real quick leg kick. Oh, well, you know about his kicks. They are on point this evening. All 
right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it shows that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Right hook to the head blocked. Oh, high amplitude head kick. Oh, straight right. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Nice punch by Lee. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Went for the inside leg kick. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. And now he's got that tight clinch. They continue to exchange. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Straight punch. Nice leg kick. And he landed the right hand there. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Nice job with that follow up shot as well. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. Looking to land the leg kick now. Oh, and he caught the kick. Lee gets the takedown. All right, less than three minutes to go here in round four. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Lee's back in full mount. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Lee's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. What a punch. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Nice head kick. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. He's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Lee gets hit with a kick here. You don't really stand. After you take a head kick like this, 
That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. only getting worse, likely gonna need to get stitched up after the fact, and blood in and around the mouth area could upset his breathing pattern. Not a good reality for him here tonight. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, it's one knee to the body. Every time an opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great timing. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Nice strike. There's no give on that leg kick. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Telegraph. Oh, what a Johnny Coleman. Now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. It's not like he's not now he's on top of him looking for the finish. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Wow! Oh! Serve him up. Oh, he's out of here now. Oh, big left. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, he gets up here, but he is on wobbly legs. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. to his feet. He went high on that one. Whiffs on the right hand. Oh! He's out! He's done, he's done! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 30 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon!
Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you set a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times you hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he...